All right, so here's the latest pickup. Um, bought a 425 for some stupid reason. Um, mostly because I wanted to buy it. So, uh, 1998, I believe, uh, 425. Uh, clearly, it's got some cosmetic issues there on the hood. 60-inch uh, deck. A um, little over a thousand hours on it. Uh, and I mostly bought this um, to compare directly to the 420. So. Uh, the next video that will come out is actually a direct comparison of the two. I'm going to put them side by side in the shop and we'll compare both the 420 and the 425 and just kind of go, kind of go over that, that leap that John Deere made forward in 1993, 92, 93, that era. So, um, you know, this is a pretty decent unit. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to have it for very long. In fact, I've already got it already spoken for and everything. I'm mostly just kind of using this just to do this some comparison videos. Uh, but like I said, 60 inch deck. Uh, the deck's in really good shape. Had a bagger on it at one time. Some of the hardware is still there. Uh, you can see um, the power flow support right there and then the, the pulley on the spindle. Or the, yeah, the pulley on the spindle. So um, hood's cracked. Uh, this other side panel's cracked. We'll uh, Oh. The hood's a little jammed down um, from coming home. Um, this panel right here is not cracked. I'm kind of shocked. Uh, haven't taken them, um, really done much inspection other than that. I picked up this afternoon. Um, like I said, 1,037.6 or 0.8 hours, something like that. Um, you know, decent running unit. The seat is amazing. Um, I, the seat, I've never seen such a nice seat. I mean, it looks to be original too. Um, there should be a date. Yeah, still got the plastic on the bottom and everything. Um, yeah, I mean, just that, that seat is mint. So, uh, anyway, no, no special hardware on the back or anything like that. Uh, like I said, used to have a bagger on it, not there anymore. No tail lights or anything like that. Um, the deck doesn't lift all the way up. I'm guessing that something, the rock shaft underneath it's broken. It doesn't sit level. Uh, probably from having that power flow on it. Uh, that's just my guess there. Um, so we'll kind of dig into that. But I figured what I would do is, um, I have not actually owned very many of these 4-5 uh, tractors. Um, but I think it's it's worth, you know, kind of telling a little bit of the story. 92, 93, uh, Deere replaced the venerable uh, 300 and 400 series, so 318, 322, 332, 420, 430, um, and 316 Onan. Uh, they replaced that with the 425, 445, and 455. Um, now you can argue that the 318 actually stepped back to the 345 that is was out then, um, so really there's not a direct replacement to the uh, 318. Um, so that's why I opted to buy this now when I have the 420 um, because the direct descendant of the 420, 430 would be the 425 and 455. Uh, in terms of the 425, 445, and 455, 425's 20 horsepower Kawasaki V twin uh, carbureted, the 445 is electronic fuel injection. Uh, 22 horsepower, and then the 455 was the 22 horsepower Yanmar diesel, uh, the 3TNA 72UJ engine. Um, all three really good machines, and this some of this information will be repeated again in the next video. Um, I, you know, the 425, in my opinion, is kind of just like a, I don't know, almost kind of a black sheep. Um, 20 horsepower, but then you put a 60-inch deck behind it. Um, I don't know. I just I don't think that in you know numbers in my experience the numbers out there I, I don't know if they're supplied or not, but um, The 20 horsepower in the 420 seems to handle a 60 inch deck better than the 20 horsepower Kawasaki um, So, you know, that's you know, that's just something to think about um, Generally uh, on a historical basis 425s can be actually purchased for the same price as 420s um, mostly being because uh, 425s use the same attachments as the 445, 455, uh, and then front attachment wise, 
the front attachment wise is the same as the X series. So um, that snowblower right over there in that broom should theoretically, if I had a 425 hitch, 4 5 hitch, would go right on this machine. Um, so, uh, you know, it's one of those deals that 425s for a long time have kind of been just one of those machines that they don't have a whole lot of value uh, because they have two horsepower less, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but it certainly can be, um, and things like that. But, you know, overall, this is a decent machine aside from the cracked plastic stuff like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the side panels off and I'm going to go over a couple things that are pretty historical on, on these machines aside from the cracked plastic uh, that you'll see if you're looking to buy one. All right, so side panels come off easy enough. There's just uh, these little spring clips right there and right there. There's two on each side. You put those back through the holes and you just lift it up. Um, I can tell you right away, I already see one thing that's pretty common on these machines um, is the fact that the engine is covered in oil. Uh, engine's covered in oil for two different reasons. One is the valve covers are not all that great. Um, they're plastic valve covers and over time they tend to warp. Um, if you notice on the new Kawasaki's there's metal valve covers and there are valve covers that are made out of metal for these machines that you can buy aftermarket. Um, also something else I've noticed is a lot of the oil fill caps always have cracks in them. Uh, I'm not really sure why, um, but you know it is what it is there. One of the most common things that I see on, on these machines is uh, in the inability, uh, and mostly this is on Yanmar's, um, this air breather, this air intake right there actually fits in a slot, if you can see it, a slot on the side panel. Um, it is really imperative, particularly on a Yanmar, that you put that there because the throttle cables aren't there to hold it back. Um, and that air intake will actually hit the fan. Um, I remember the first time I, I saw a 455 um, and that fan was just, the, the tips of the fan blades were just ruined because that, that air cleaner hose had just sat there and, and, uh, and uh, just beat on them. So uh, I can already tell you that the deck actually looks in pretty good shape. I'm looking through that hole right there. Deck looks nice and clean. In fact, the deck is surprisingly nice. Um, I can't wait to get it actually off of this machine and see how it looks. But um, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of play in the front end. Um, the motor mounts look okay. So there's four motor mounts, one, two, and then on the other side. Um, <clears throat> like I said, this is a carbureted engine. So uh, you're gonna see a traditional fuel filter, things like that. It's just gonna be a regular carb. It's gonna have trouble starting when it's cold, like it did today. Uh, I went to go take it off the trailer and it probably took me a good five minutes to get it running and actually stay running. Um, a lot of times uh, the, steering, the steering is very, very loose, uh, mostly because uh, the input into the steering, uh, the steering valve is a little wallowed out, that input shaft, and I'll, I'll, as we go through this, I'll kind of show you that in a future video. Um, one of the big things with the 425, except for the first year of the 445, 455, the 425 always came with the 23, uh, 1050 by 12 tires. I think that's the right numbers. Yeah, 23, 1050 by 12. Um, meanwhile, the, yeah, 23, 1050 by 12. Had that moment of doubt. Uh, meanwhile, uh, and this is on the rears, the 445 and 455, except for the first year, always came with 26, 12, 12s. That's the same size as on the current X series. So, um, unless it was an all wheel steer, all wheel steers are different beasts. I've never been a fan of all-wheel steers just because of maintenance. Um, there's a lot of moving parts there. They, everybody loves them that drives them. Um, I'm not saying anything bad about that. I just personally have never wanted an all-wheel steer machine. Um, just strictly because of, of, of some of the, when I buy higher hour machines, I know I'm gonna have to, to fix things like that. So I've never looked at an all-wheel steer machine. Um, you know, so I'm not saying anything bad about them. Just a, that's just a personal choice of mine. Um, so, I mean, radiator is actually pretty clean, so excited about that. Uh, the front tires the same way. Uh, the 425 had smaller front tires. Um, trying to think of the numbers off the top of my head, and I can't think of, think of them. Um, so, 16 by 750 by 8. 
and I can't remember what the tires were on the uh, 455s and 445s. But anyway, that's the 425. Um, the net, like I said, the next video, I'm gonna bring the 420 in here, and we're gonna do a direct comparison between the two machines. Um, that should be a longer video, but hopefully it's informative to future viewers. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching.